Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Dory Nicole. Um, I just wanna start off by saying, Welcome back to both you and myself. Um, I'm gonna be revealing two bags off my wish list that I picked up at some pretty great prices. I'm happy that I was able to find both of them. Um, I almost overspent. One I found secondhand, I got lucky, <laughs> on Poshmark. The second one I found on 24S and that was my first time um, ordering from 24S and it was a great experience. I do wanna start this video by giving a huge shout out to Nothing But Bags and the hopeful minimalist i had like a week full of complete just technical difficulties i guess you can say i was using imovie um i i did youtube like way back in the day before you could get monetized and that's that's just what i was familiar with using um, i didn't want to pay like 400 dollars or however it costed to do like final cut pro because this is really just an outlet for me so i didn't want to like cash out so much when i could buy a bag with that money so um i had some i ran into some technical difficulties i posted it on my community tab i was trying to find the time to edit because you know i do have a clingy toddler right now so i was trying to find the time to edit when i found the time to edit i got it done in like an hour and then iMovie would not allow me to save or access my video. It just would completely freeze. I just got really discouraged and I had two comments from them um, like giving me tips and the, the hopeful minimalist uh, mentioned a different uh, editing tool that I can use. So I went and downloaded that. I completely just ditched iMovie and I went ahead and paid for that new editing software. So I was like, it was worth it. I think they had a sale, I don't know. Um, it said like 79% off, so I only had to pay like $100 for the year. I want to talk about two different bags that I bought. I bought them like within the same day or within a day of each other. I was looking on a site called Zappos because I noticed that they had one of the black pillow Madisons. And you know, I was like, that was one of the first bags I was obsessed with after watching the gals guys. I saw they have one available brand new. And it wasn't really a bag I wanted to get secondhand because I saw that there was like a little wear and tear that was on the leather seat. So I was like, you know, I don't really want to buy it secondhand. I would rather do all the wear and tear myself instead of like just getting it. Um, but I really wanted the black in the full size and I just couldn't really find one. They were like getting snapped up really quick. So I found two on Poshmark. The one that I got was listed for $250. There was another one that was listed for I think 250 or 275, but the one that was listed at 275, it looked great, but there was like some scratches here and there. The other one, the one that I grabbed was 250. And the reason why I grabbed that is because someone else had bought the other one that I had in my cart. They like bought it right before I was about to check out. So whatever, it was all meant to be. I grabbed the one that was 250 and I was like zooming in, you know, as I do when I'm buying pre-loved, zooming in on all the details, enlarging the pictures, like just looking at it. It was listed as great condition, um, smoke-free home, no odors, no stains, clean interior, no scratches, no damage to the seat. It didn't say new without tags. It didn't say anything like that. So I was just like looking at it to see what they meant, right? I took a chance, I bought it because on Zappos, this Pillow Madison retails for $4.95. So getting it for $2.50 was like pretty decent. It's like half off or more. So I was like, okay, let me take a chance and just go ahead and snag it. I have the lovely black with black Pillow Madison. I switched out of my Nikki bag into this the day it arrived. And I'm telling you, it came in the dust bag, um, just in a box with the dust bag around it with a little bit of like paper cushioning on the bottom of the box. Um, so when I opened the dust bag, my hand grazed this leather and I almost fell out. It feels almost exactly like the quilted tabby. It was just something about it. Like I was so happy that I got it before I could even like see the bag, like before I could even like reveal it. I just went like this and took the bag off and I've been thinking about this bag since maybe August of last year and I never pulled the trigger when it was still available and I got it for $250. So I kind of wanted to bring that up because I know sometimes we tend to hurry up and jump on the bag. Like I, I knew I wanted the quilted tabby, 
And I actually wasn't all that aware that there was a lot of hype around Coach. I was just following them on Instagram and I saw that they dropped and I was like, dude, if I get a black bag, I think that's the bag I want with the brass hardware. And when I went to grab it, it was like sold out. And then the next day it was back and I went and bought it. And then all of a sudden I just see it like blowing up everywhere. And I was like, oh damn, this is like something, right? This came out, what, two, three years ago now? I can't remember. I'm like, I was trying to go through YouTube to see when the video started coming up about this bag. So I want to say it started like what, 2022 maybe? And it's 2024 and I'm just now buying it. So um, I was just wondering, do people, are you guys still wearing this bag? Because dude, I love this. Like I've been wearing this for, has it been two weeks? It's been at least a week. I did post it on my community tab. Um, but I love it. I switched into it, like literally I unwrapped it and felt it and like looked around it. And I was like, this is perfect. Like there's really nothing wrong. It felt like it was brand new. I don't know if anybody ever carried the bag. And I say that because like there's nowhere at all around the sea. And even now, like my nails aren't the best, you know, mom life. I keep my, I've always kept my real nails. I don't get fakes or anything but my nails are like never even, I'm <laughs> but um, still it's been like a week since I've been wearing this every single day and I still have no wear around the sea, so that's good. But when I opened the bag, I was like, did somebody, did anybody wear this? Because there was like no scratches along the top, like there was nothing. This part was still like wrapped in like plastic covering. So I was still, the, this part, this uh, inner zipper here, I don't know if you can see it, these things, they were still wrapped, you know? So I was like, did anybody use this bag? Like, they didn't say excellent use condition. They just said great condition. They didn't say how many times it was worn or if it was worn at all. They didn't say new without tags or never worn. So when I opened it, the leather was great. It still had the coach card in there. It was just like perfect. So I just uh, finished unwrapping everything around the sea and I just put my stuff in there. So I didn't put diapers because I haven't, me and my son, we haven't been out and about lately. So it's just been like my lotion, my Vaseline, this uh, Coach Banded, uh, I think it's the belt bag card holder. And I just took the, I didn't put the belt in. I recently got this from the Outlet Reserve Drop in the Amazon green because I, I love this color. I pretty much bought this for like a safe space for my AirPod case because I always lose my AirPod case. Like I'm not losing the actual AirPod, uh, but I always lose my case. Like my son likes to play with it now and it's just, so yeah. So I put my AirPod case in here and now I just have like cash. Like I sold, I sold a batch of cinnamon rolls. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm uh, a chef by trade and I, I worked as a chef for about 10 years. And now I just like do one-off things. Like people will order something for me here and there and I'll give it to them. But yeah, I sold a batch of my cinnamon rolls. I have my wallet. And then in this top flap here, which I really like the magnet. Like that is so satisfying. What? I love it. Like ugh. makeup wipe. And then I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch in here. And that just has like my loyalty cards, chapstick. Uh, what else is in here? I used to keep my earphones in here. Now I just have like my earplugs. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't actually used those in a while since I bought my AirPods all over again. We'll see if I do it a fourth time. This is my third set. But yeah, I have been loving this. It has such a generous back pocket. This, the chains, they're very light and comfortable to me. I don't feel like it digs. The bag, I, it's not a light bag, I would say. Like my Nikki, I would say, is a light bag. This doesn't feel light, like especially with, like it has stuff in there, like my minimal stuff in there. And when I put it on, it has a weight to it. And even more if I pack more into it, but it's like, it's like that good weight. You know what I mean? Like that sexy weight. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not like, oh, I don't want to carry this. Let me throw it at the bottom of the stroller. Nothing like that. But I really like the generous back pocket. Always put my phone in there. And sometimes I have my AirPods case. Like if I'm just out and about, I'll take them out, put them in the case and put it in there instead of opening the whole bag and putting it in the bandit. But I love this. I stuff my receipts after I'm done shopping, doing grocery shopping, everything goes in there. Uh, then I take my receipts off and scan it and all everything else I do with it. But I 
this has just been like a great carry. Like I am so excited to have it, especially in the black on black. There was a couple others, um, cause I was considering the black on black and the chambray blue. And I saw the chambray blues that looked amazing condition as well for 250 on Poshmark and they're still listed. But now that I got the quilted tabby and the black and the white and I felt the difference, I don't know if I want to risk it the chambray blue and it doesn't feel like this. <laughs> like even though I love like certain bags, like I don't know, I still don't really feel that great about having multiple of the bags, you know, in different colors. Like I kind of want to have more versatility and range and stuff. Like I am so happy, so, so happy that I finally got my hands on the black on black film I said. Like I, I'm just so excited, dude. It's just, it's such a sporty look. It's such an everyday. And I'm not scared to wear it, which is like extra cool. For some reason, I feel scared to wear my pillow tabby. There was a post on my, on the Facebook group I'm a part of, uh, Coach Gone Rogue. If you're on there, let me know. <laughs> but there was like a Coach After Dark um, thread recently. And they were just, you know, saying, to express yourself like what do you feel about coach or whatever and i was reading through the comments and one of the guys said you know i think i prefer my pre-loved bags over my brand new ones because i feel like once i buy a bag that's pre-loved i tend to use it immediately and i use it all the time and then when i buy my bags um brand new they kind of just sit there and collect dust because i'm so scared of messing it up if I buy it pre-loved, then I know somebody probably already made a mark, so I'm not scared to make my own marks, you know? And I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I have those two quilted tabbies that are just sitting in the box right now. But as soon as this came pre-loved, even though it looked brand new, I jumped into it. I jumped into every single bag that I bought pre-loved, like my Nikki, hopped right in, carried it for two weeks straight, hopped right into this, and now I'm like approaching, I'm getting into my second week now that I've been wearing this. So... I was like, you know what, now that you say that, I think I'm on the same boat. I need to change that because I don't plan to get rid of my bag. So why am I scared to, to mess it up? Well, I'm rambling at this point, so I'll move on. I'm gonna show you the next bag. <laughs> okay, you guys, like, I'm kind of happy that I have this community. Let me see that. Especially like, I'm right now, I'm just like hopping on super casual, like no makeup, nothing. But yeah, next one I bought brand new from 24S. I got it in the French gift wrap. It was so cute. Uh, I thought I filmed it. Let me see. When I edit this, I'll see if I could film me unboxing it. But it was like super cute and it was free. I didn't have to add anything extra. But this one from the pillow collection is the super ugly pillow tabby. <laughs> it came in the super cute shopping bag as well, which I thought was cute. So if you're thinking about gifting and you see it on sale at 24S, you can just get the cute little Parisian gift wrapping and then it'll just be like, oh my God, all you gotta do is put like some wrapping paper around the box or you can just give your gift in this cute little shopping bag and it's like, ah, like <laughs> it's so great. But anyway, I added my little chain thing. I was trying it on. I put it on both ends at the same time, but I felt like the equilibrium of it just wasn't hitting. So I just took one of them off and left it on one side. So I got it in the beautiful deep berry color, brand new from 24S. And it's actually like a pretty cool bag. Like I'm super happy that I got it. This bag retails for, uh, sorry, I see a little dimple. This bag retails for 550, but on 24S they had a pretty decent sale. So I ended up getting this for $330. I got this for maybe five bucks. It's two of these, uh, two of the strap extenders. Um, and I just thought it looked so good. Like not with this outfit, but it looked really good with the added strap extender. It just adds a little extra bling. When I put it on the other side, it looked good too, but I just felt like it, the equilibrium just felt a little bit off. I haven't actually put anything in it yet. I haven't worn it yet, but it was, it actually felt kind of sporty. As you can see, it's still factory wrapped and everything like, no one has worn this bag. No one has unboxed this bag. It's not a return. Like it was completely factory wrapped still. Almost grabbed one on Poshmark the same day I got the Pillow Madison. It was the Amazon Green, but I decided to only get one. That one was listed for $400 and this one was $331. And 
I'm super happy about it. <laughs> I saw people saying they didn't really like it crossbody, but I actually did. I have it on crossbody. I'm gonna back up so you can see. I should hop on my couch like I usually do. But I like kind of wearing it at this little slant. Again, not with this outfit. This is all just outside. It's been hot here in Vegas. Um, but I liked wearing it at a slant. Like I thought it was pretty cool. I'll probably like shorten it even more. So it's not, not this big gaping hole back here. But crossbody, just like the regular way, I actually kind of liked it crossbody as well. Again, I will probably shorten it because I do like crossbody to sit a little bit higher. But it really depends on if I, what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing something a little bit chunkier, like a, some sort of a jacket or something, then I'll leave the strap alone. But like tank tops, whatever, um, it's a little bit more slim of an outfit. So I'll have to like shorten it a little bit because this is a lot of slack back here actually really like this bag i'm happy i got it um i <laughs> i did not like this bag at all until i saw it in these colors the amazon green and the deep berry i just went oh actually the black look kind of good as well but i just did not understand the hype around it at the time like when i started researching it i was late anyway because this came out years ago too <laughs> Having it in person, touching it, it probably isn't, like now that I know the difference between the colors and coach, like this feels soft, like I'm happy with this. It doesn't feel dry. I'm not seeing any like super extreme wrinkling like on my uh, chalk pill, uh, chalk quilted tabby. Like it's it feels great, but I don't feel like this is a bag that I'm scared to wear the hell out. Like I'm not scared to wear it. I can't wait to wear it. Um, I'm not gonna save it for winter or anything silly like that. I know it's like the pillow texture and stuff, but I, I like it. Like it feels kind of hip hop. It feels kind of like street style for me. I'm not getting elegance or class from this. <laughs> like the black one kind of gave elegance and class, the little ones, you know? But this, I just feel it's like, it's so hip hop. It's street style. It's all of that that I've been like into lately. Um, especially like during the winter where I'm wearing like more oversized clothes and jeans and all of that. Um, and less skirts and dresses like I do in the uh, the summer months, which we're approaching. So we'll see, we'll see if I rock this. I might do it with denim shorts and stuff. Cause I do want to wear this. I don't want to wait till winter. I was even thinking about getting this one hot stepped as well, if they do that on the pillows. I can't lie and tell you that I'm not still thinking about the Amazon green, but I do, uh, I just kind of want to stick with one. Like, I think I'm just cool with having this one pillow tabby. Like I've made my decision. Um, and it, it brings a lot to my collection just from the style and the color. So yeah, so this is just a really short video. I don't have a whole lot to say, especially since these are uh, from past collections of Coach. So I don't wanna like go on and on about the bags because they're already reviews, but dang, the light is hitting this and it's just the color. Like, I hope this comes up on screen because I know I'm losing daylight right now, but this color is amazing. Like it's giving spice, like I love it. I love it. I love the color and I love the feel of these bags. They do feel luxe, but they feel so casual and sporty and just, this is giving me hip hop. That's giving me just cool girl vibes with the sleek black on black. Like I love it. And I am loving seeing my collection just grow in variety and style. Like how am I feeling? Am I feeling super feminine? Am I feeling kind of tomboyish? Am I feeling don't bother me, am I feeling edgy? You know what I mean? It's like, it's growing. And I feel like these like handbags and accessories are what I was missing from my life, I guess, cause I was never into it, but I'm starting to feel like it's all coming together. Like I'm starting to feel like even more of myself. So it's great, it's great. I'm done rambling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this video, if you made it to the end, please subscribe and like, and come on back to watch me ramble a couple of times a week. Let me know your thoughts on the pillow bags or if you like to wait until the trend dies down so you can score some pretty cool deals like this. I got both of these bags for less than the price of one Quilted Tabby 26. Two of these bags I waited a couple of years or I came a couple of years late to the party. So let me know if you're like the type that hops on it or if it just depends like me. Like if you want it right now, you're gonna buy it right now. But if you're not sure, you're probably gonna wait, you know? <laughs> so let me know. I will see you guys later. Thanks again for watching and talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>